Um, first, I'd like to say that I welcome Minister's um, statements in his speech that the government and SPH uh, media will not see eye to eye on matters, and it is as it should be if the newspapers are to be uh, credible to readers. I, I welcome that statement strongly. Um, at the same time, he has acknowledged that uh, due to the proposed change in the funding, there are some concerns about the implications of government funding on the editorial direction of the newspaper. Um, and in the same breath, uh, he just announced to us today that um, the government and the management shareholders of SPH have agreed on the choice of the chair of the CLG to be Mr. Corbyn Wan. I have some clarifications on this choice. First, let me clarify that I'm not questioning the personal integrity of Mr. Kaur, but the fact is that he is the former chairman of the People's Action Party and uh, former coordinating minister for infrastructure. Um, so I'd like to ask a uh, minister, first of all, the choice of Mr. Kaur, although he said it was by agreement um, between the government and the management shareholders, am I to assume that it was the government's suggestion that Mr. Kaur take on this role and the management shareholders agreed to that suggestion? Second question, <coughs> Does Minister not see this as a missed opportunity uh, in the light of the major restructure that is coming up and some concerns about uh, what this would mean for newspaper content? Is this not a missed opportunity where someone else who does, is not so closely linked to the government could have been chosen to be the chair? Were any other candidates considered? Thank you. So, Deputy Speaker, I thank the member for her clarifications. Uh, let me just be very clear. I said in my statement that the news media and the government will not always see eye to eye. I don't think the definition of a good news media or a credible news media is that it must always not see eye to eye, but it has the occasion when it's necessary to be able to do so. So I want to be clear about that. Second, I think the nub of the question really is that uh, with Mr. Corbunwan being asked by the management shareholders to chair the CLG, whether this creates problems from the point of view of editorial independence. I presume that's your main point. And let me put this in a very... I think let's start with where we are today. SPH's current chairman is Dr. Lee Bunyang, and he is a former cabinet minister. In SPH's history, they have had other chairpersons who have either been ex-senior civil servants or ex-cabinet ministers. Media Corp's chairman today is an ex-senior civil servant. And yet, we are where we are today, and I do not wish to canvas the arguments all over again, but we are where we are today in terms of the credibility of our media, the trust that Singaporeans have in our media, through this array of leadership. And I think we should therefore be very clear that what matters is not a perceived political hue in the appointments, but rather in the substance of the character and capability of the people who are involved. And I think in that regard, Mr. Corbunwan, I think, will be, you know, he's held in high standing in Singapore by many and so beyond Singapore. And he has a proven track record of taking on difficult issues 
and working on them. And this is one such issue. And what you need is someone at the leadership level who has the gravitas, has the strategic vision, and the experience in undertaking these sorts of major tasks. And make no mistake about it, this is a major undertaking, and it is one that is of national importance. So I think uh, the choice of Mr. Corbyn Wan is something that not just the government, but in fact the management shareholders were very keen on. And as I said, it was a discussion that we had uh, this is not the kind of position for which you have a very long short list or that you that would do a global search, you know. In the end, you have to decide on the basis of what is needed, what are the attributes we seek, and how do we go forward. And that's what happened here. And I think, uh, therefore, is this a missed opportunity? I think what would be a missed opportunity is if we allow political considerations to prevent us from making the right decision in terms of the right person for the job to get it done. And I think that's what we have sought to do.